The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Enu Tabi here with the G.I. Joe Classified Series Unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at the Alley Viper. Uh, I got this in the mail from good buddy Larkin. I haven't found any of these in the store yet. I have found some bats, but I've not found any of the Alley Viper. So this is number 34 in the series. Uh, I never had this figure as a kid, so um, kind of a little bit different, but I do like the color and all the different accessories. So we're going to take a look at that. Box is a little beat up, but that's fine. We're going to take them out of the packaging. And put them on the shelf so what does that matter all right so let's take a look at the box first we've got nice artwork here on the side some alley vipers here <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> i'm leaving that in <laughs> i'm leaving that in not taking it out all right uh yeah number 34 we've got his stats here on the side got some artwork right there i am gonna leave that in i'm not i can't take that out that's fantastic Leave it in. Uh, we've got Cobra Commander here, the Regal Cobra Commander, I believe. I really need that figure. Uh, I've got the standard one, but that's it. So that's pretty much it for the backing. Uh, not much else. Yeah, the box is kind of beat up. Let's get them out of box and take a look at it. And that's what I'm excited to look at. So, all right, let's get it going. All right, so if you ever hear me say this figure doesn't have enough accessories or doesn't come enough with enough stuff, uh, throw that out of the window for the Alley Viper because good lord, he comes with a bunch of stuff. Awesome, I love this, it's fantastic. Let's take a look. Comes with his shield here, right? Shield with the Cobra emblem. Got orange and blue. Got a holding mechanism for his arm here, I guess. With a screen. That's very cool, like that. Like I said, I don't have a frame of reference for this. I never had the uh, this figure as a kid, so. Yeah, that's really nice, shield looks good. Good job on that. He comes with a kind of a crossbow rifle. Uh, this piece is separate. You just plug it in. Uh, trying to get mine straight. It's not very easy, but this looks nice. Nice detailing. Got a scope here on top. I don't know if I'll use this or not, but it looks maybe it's like a harpoon gun, but very nice. Nice detailing. Comes with his mask here, and this will peg onto the figure's helmet here. Do like this, and it's plugged onto the other side, like that. So, very cool, and you can flip it up. I kinda like it flipped up than this, because uh, I don't really like that too much. Looks like a, some sort of fish dude. Flip this up, looks cool, you can still see the Cobra Elm on one top. All right, we'll come back to the figure. Comes with a rifle here. Uh, this looks like a, some sort of AK variant with a, like a comp sight or something on it. Looks nice, detailed, got a magazine that comes out. Pops in like that, very cool. Like that, that's very awesome. Love that they're doing that. We've got the cheek rest, very nice. This is the AK, look at the piece here. So, very nice, nice detailing. I uh, really like this. I don't know if this is true to the actual figure, but uh, very cool looking weapon here. Comes with one more rifle. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's almost like a, I don't know, very weird. Like a small rifle, but. The magazine comes out here, pop that in, pop it in here. Uh, still nice details, got a grip handle here from the hold, very short barrel. It's different, I like it, unique. Comes with a backpack, a lot of detail in here, got the Cobra emblem there. I don't know if any of this stuff will peg on to any of this. Uh, see, there's a peg there. They're usually, if there's a peg, something should fit into it. I don't know if you could store a rifle or not. Don't look like it. But got grenades here. We got a pouch. Uh, maybe this is one of those. It's not a. I don't think it's a mine. More of it's like a like wire on a coal thing that springs. Very cool. Got some pouches here. Got some detail on the back of this. Then he comes with two knives. Uh, I think these are both very similar. Uh, yep, basically the same knife. 
and the standard pistol that we've seen a hundred times with Joe's and Cobra flat plastic. So, so let's go to figure here. So we've got a place for this pistol right here on this leg drop holster. All right. We're going to go into the character a little bit more, but let's look at what he comes with. We've got a, okay. Got this for the knife here on his wrist. So you can peg a knife in here, I think. Which way does it go? Does it matter? Seems like it would go this way. I swear that spot doesn't seem like it's drilled out enough. Hmm, unique. Pop that out of the way. Seems tight there, right? So this is gonna go in there. Yep, okay. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Cobra emblem here on the side. Got a vest gear. We've got another one here in a kind of brown leather uh, to go this way. That one is getting in there slowly. There we go. Well, all right. There we go. Got a nice spot. And that's pretty much it. So you got three guns. You're not going to be able to carry them all, especially if you've got a shield too. Um, the shield's going to go on his arm. I mean, you can probably do it certain, you know, several different ways, I guess. You can try to figure out this shield. How is this going to work? You can hold it, put it on his arm, maybe. Uh, bend it at the arm at the elbow and hold the shield, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Very cool figure. Uh, let's plug his backpack on. Okay. That's cool. Nice looking figure. I won't go into the articulation. You've seen it. It's Joe classified. It's what you get standard. We've got some D-rings right here. Kind of a, we've got the armor plate uh, vest carrier or whatever going down below the waist. Got the brown on the, the, the shins. Some unique colors here. I mean, you are not going to, this is probably not appropriate for the urban environment, that's for sure. Uh, but I do like the unique orange and blue. So, in the toy, I think it's orange and blue as well. So, I guess it goes along with that. Uh, will our army build these guys? Probably not. Um, you know, I think maybe one. Maybe I could get another one. I don't know. I, I keep saying I'm not going to army build guys, and then I end up, end up doing it. So, he can hold his, you know, AK right here. There's... Uh, one thing I don't like, there's no pouches for the magazines. This one doesn't come off, right? Nope. So there's nowhere else for the other mags to go or to plug the weapon on the back that I know of. There is. Put that in the comments below. Let me know. Drop that in the comments. What do you think of this figure? Have you got it? Uh, you excited about Alley Vipers? I'm kind of iffy on them. I think it looks cool. I just, you know, it seems like another Cobra Trooper to add to the line. Like bats, I can see. Some Cobra Troopers, I can see. I don't know if I'll do Alley Vipers, but still. And if you flip the mask down, you can do it like that. So which weapon you think looks best with them? The AK? Harpoon gun? Short, short barrel? Crazy looking rifle? I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Or run with the shield? Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. It helps out a whole lot. means a lot. Uh, trying to get to 2,000 subs, monetize the channel this year. That's the goal. We're at 1328. Without you, I can't do it. Help out Cobra. Help out Joe. Let's get it going. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.